How's it going guys, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of the New Balance Fresh Foam Hero V5 in the Varsity Gold colorway. Today's video is sponsored by Rose Gold and Black and they're an Australian based men's jewelry and accessory company and they produce some very wearable, very versatile and high quality product. So myself, I'm actually not a huge jewelry or accessory person. But if you look on the website, you'll see that their product is a very simple way to spice up your outfit and it can be paired very easily with your outfit, regardless of what your personal style is. So down through that link below, just in time for their Black Friday sale, my viewers only will be able to get 30% off the retail price, in addition to free shipping as well. And also get an additional 10% off by using the code Black Friday upon checkout. So be sure to check them out, show them some love. Once again, that's rose gold and black. So jumping back to these shoes, first off a huge thank you goes out to New Balance Canada for sending me over this pair. This pair is part of their all-terrain line, and while it's specifically meant to be a trail running shoe, it can of course be worn casually as well. So these guys retail for a price of 135 US dollars or 180 Canadian dollars, and the official colorway for this shoe is Varsity Gold, Neo Classic Blue, and Phantom. So straight off the bat, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, I did not think that I would be loving this shoe. But once I got them in hand, and the more I actually look at them, the more I actually do appreciate its design. So jumping straight in, the upper of the sneaker is constructed using this engineered mesh in this Varsity Gold color. So you'll see there's these perforations or slits found throughout this mesh, which exposes the underlaying layer of black fabric underneath. Surrounding the front edge of the toe box, here we have what feels like a rubberized fused material. And as the wording suggests, it does protect your toe and give you added reinforcement and durability. On the midfoot of the lateral side only, here we have this oversized N New Balance logo, which is once again done in that rough rubber-like material that was found on the front toe cap. In terms of laces, so these come with a multicolor lace, which is a combination of white, red, and blue. And this intertwines through black eyelets and through the top layer of the tongue itself. And there's a small tab at the very top, which has the Fresh Foam and Hiero branding stamped on that black rubberized material again. As I pull back this top layer of the tongue, you'll notice that there's a thicker padded layer underneath. So this is constructed in both black mesh, along with this gold nylon material in the very center. As we move along towards the back end of the shoe, so the top layer where the ankle sits, this is done in mesh in a combination of black and blue. And then found below this, we have this small heel cup, which is constructed using the synthetic leather, and we have the fresh foam branding on the lateral side. Finishing this off and giving it this added pop of color, we have this red nylon pull tab as well, along with the New Balance Trail Branding in red. As I take out the insoles, so these come with your standard padded New Balance insoles, which is done in black, and we have New Balance and Trail Branding on the heel. So the upper of these Fresh Foam Hiero V5s sits atop, you guessed it, a thick Fresh Foam midsole. For the most part, this midsole is done in this off-white or cream color. And just as Fresh Foam is known to be, we have these indentations found throughout the midsole, which allows the midsole itself to collapse, which basically provides targeted stability and cushioning, depending on whether you're looking at the forefoot or the back heel. Speaking about the back heel, on the midsole itself, we have this splash of blue, which extends from the back heel and then is painted onto the midsole itself. I personally like this. It kind of gives a nice splash of color and a playful look, but that's just my personal opinion. Flipping these guys over to the bottom, so here we have your outsole, and the entire outsole in this case is constructed using Vibram rubber. So Vibram outsoles is arguably some of the best traction that you can have on a sneaker. And in the case for these guys, you can see why. The traction pattern on the sneaker is super aggressive. We have these two upward facing chevrons painted in red, along with the Vibram logo in the very center. And you'll also notice that the back heel protrudes outwards as well, and extends beyond the actual length of the shoe. This is really to maximize contact of your shoe to the ground and ensure you have the ultimate level of traction. So in terms of sizing, my feet measures as a true size 10 and overall I'd say that these guys do run true to size. New Balance Canada sent me these in a size 10. They fit me perfectly and I have absolutely no complaints with the fit. So whatever your true size is, and in my case that's usually what I go with with New Balances across the board, I'd stick with that same size for these guys. Next up from a comfort standpoint, so this fresh foam actually was very very comfortable. I personally haven't tried Fresh Foam too much aside from maybe the 574 Sport. So having this super chunky Fresh Foam midsole on these guys was very, very comfy, very soft, while still retaining a good amount of responsiveness and bounce back. Personally, I just rock these casually, so I can't really comment from a performance running standpoint, but just for casual use, they're very, very comfortable and I have zero complaints so far.
So with all that said, let me lace these up and I'll show you guys how these guys look on feet. I know this is probably not the typical shoe that I would review on this channel, but I'm always open to trying new things. And in the case for these guys, this is a great example of a shoe that I normally wouldn't cop, but then now that I have them in hand, they definitely are much better than I initially thought. In fact, when I posted on my Instagram story this pickup, I actually got a ton of responses from people saying how much they really love this shoe. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the New Balance Fresh Foam Hiero V5. What do you guys think of this design? Is this something you would mess with or is this something just too out there for you? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on my Instagram at sgo8. Check out my Twitter at sean.go and visit my website as well at seango.ca. Before I end this video, one final shout out goes out to New Balance Canada for sending me over this pair along with the tee that I'm rocking today. And of course, a huge thank you goes out to the sponsor for today's video, Rose Gold and Black. So again, check that link down below and don't miss out on their Black Friday sale. So until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.